Welcome everybody. So in this uh, demonstration, we'll talk about how we created this balloon that's floating in some New York street city or the city street of New York city. So as you can see, plenty of balloons. This is just another view again, following some custom velocity. And this is the file. So I have this city block, London, not in New York, <laughs> as you can see. So I went there and uh, I rented this one in V-Ray, so the material is for V-Ray material. So I wanted some proxy geometry that the balloon can collide with. So I isolated this uh, facet and with connectivity I added a bound for each one. So now I have bound box that I will use as a collider. Here, because these are in an angle, so I isolated them and then merge everything together so I have this street here I wanted to create a custom velocity that start from this side and go all the way to the camera angle so we started with the curve that I draw Resemble to have more points and copy it a couple of time. And I have a helix that I transform it, resemble, and add it. Then I make a couple of copies. So this is the area I'm going through. Bully frame. So I created V. that follow the tangent tangent attribute angle I uh, make it in the minus negative this is positive negative so it can follow the street add some randomness with conical noise while I keep it coming And here I created a box that in compensate com uh, uh, cover all the area. I created a volume that's well, and by using volume from attribute, and the attribute is v, so I have velocity converted to vdv. So I can merge it all together as a vel vector 3 and I export it. And here is the view of it by creating points from the volume and adding volume trail. So it's following. Then go to the balloon a balloon object transform it appropriately make it small place the remaining and split it because I want this one only I decrease it even more and make a group for the balloon the line I didn't use, then making vellum cloth as a cloth and vellum pressure, make the pressure like 6 and increase the wrist length. Then in the dog network, I have the balloon and I have the constraint. Let's go in. 
this is the city object a ground plane vellum object vellum solver and vellum source that's activating every 10 frame I'm instance the emission type instance on point <coughs> where is the point here is the point he made a box and I'm scattering with the randomness uh, the amount of scattering is equal to the activation so if we have a look here control G, control G. so see here one point each time there is a point okay then I added the bulk network so it will run ah then I use just this so here scatter changing every uh, random seed with total point of 50 so here it is this is the one I use as a source for the points here so these points will be copied uh, with the balloon at Vic by volume so I'm taking that velocity field that we created and scaling it by 10 some book force to make some uh, turbulence and curve noise this is one of the view let's see So it is following the velocity field. Let's make it. Let's make it less. Here I'll just put ten. So if I kill the book force. Velocity, I make it 100. So it's going crazy. Maybe 10 and update force. Use it as a force. the gravity is so high let's put this one back let's see we are going to decrease the gravity make it 2 here it goes so after that I imported it the volume object, cache it, then unpack it, and according to the connectivity, I add the color. Add the connectivity, and the material, redshift material, material. Ah, the city I make it as uh, V-ray, and I imported uh, this node point attribute the CD, so it will uh, have random color for each, for each balloon and this is the result so this one I created it in new and in V-Ray and have a mate for the balloon and then combine it together and added this filter in new so you can see the velocity field effect Thank you very much for watching.